Hey sweeties, so a really beautiful sunny day is going to end soon. I'm sitting up here on the balcony with the little plants and Gaia is in a box here next to me. Love you! <laughs> right away. <laughs> and um, yeah, today is again song and story time. Just other way around. So I will first sing some songs and then I will share a story. Okay, so the first one we start with is called Earth Child. Maybe some of you know it's also a rainbow song. Rainbow song. So this one is called Rainbow Woman and it's also a very very beautiful rainbow song that I love a lot. Choices. Tell the people just what their choices. There is a woman who we 
people just tell the people just what their choice is. Tell the people just what their choice is. There is a woman who beats the night sky. See how she's pain, see her fingers fly. She'll stand beside us from beginning to end. She's a mother, a lover, a friend. She's a mother, a lover, a friend. She's a beaver and I'm the vet. She's the needle and I'm the thread. She changes everything she touches. In everything she touches changes. She changes everything she touches. In everything she touches changes. There was a time before you were born. She was calm in the eye of the storm A man and a woman passionate in love Gave birth to a freedom child We are the children of freedom and light Most dear the planet to the real Alrighty, that was the Rainbow Woman. So, there will be probably two or three more songs we will see. The next one, let me think, what will be the next one? Um, I know what it could be. Oh, yeah. So, for this one, I have made it. I prepared a screenshot. <laughs> and actually, I was practicing it already a lot. So, I hope it will work out satisfyingly for everyone. Okay. <clears throat> One moment. Okay, just checking on Gaia. There is everything okay, but it looks good. for this again. <laughs> Sorry for this word. Flesh 
that brings you invitation Join me now in my invocation Mother Earth, I was nearly the end of you Please accept my desire to be friend with you Now I know just how much I depend on you jump in consciousness and fly high we will see what happens um okay so maybe one more song and then we go for the story because the sun is going away soon here here it's already dark ah, but it's still okay huh we could also continue um let me drink a sip Okay, that was more than one. <coughs> I need to check for Gaia for one moment. Just give me a little time and back in a minute or something like that. Alrighty, so I'm back. Let's just see how this goes. So, a last song and then we go for the story, yeah? The last one was, by the way, called No One's Slave. And it's also a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rainbow song. Okay. And this one, you will probably know, and I really love it a lot. <laughs>
French pavement Keep on blowing through the water's day raging In this place you could lose your way Your way It might drive you crazy But don't let it face you the way No way Did you recognize it? So, if you recognized it, then maybe you also know how it starts. Now I know. Sometimes I lay under the moon And thank God that I'm breathing Then I pray, don't take me soon Cause I'm here for a reason And you too. Sometimes in the tears I drown Activities around I hope one day it will all turn around because all my life I've been waiting for and praying for the people to see that we don't need to fight no more. There'll be no more war. Our children can play one day, one day, one day.
Yeah, so a little bit confused and mixed up the song. <laughs> and improvised for the now. Yippee! So let's hope that that will. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Everything okay? How are you looking on yourself? Looking in the other direction. Okay. So, what will happen now is the story, huh? Yeah. All right. So, the story will be here. So, now I probably need to make the microphone a little bit louder. Because for the singing I had to turn it down. See, that should work while I'm talking. Dum -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. This will be okay now. All right. So the sun is half gone. And it's okay. No, we have a lot of space now, but I would like to come here too. How can we do this? Can we manage this together? Yeah. So the story of Smoky Mirror. So this is the introduction story for the Four Agreements. As you see, I really love this book a lot. I also linked the PDF somewhere in my profile. So yeah, if you search in the last months, you could also find the whole book to read. Otherwise, I'm from time to time offering you little brickets. All right. The Smoky Mirror. Three thousand years ago, there was a human just like you and me who lived near a city surrounded by mountains. The human was studying to become a medicine man, to learn the knowledge of his ancestors. But he didn't completely agree with everything that he was learning. In his heart, he felt there must be something more. One day, as he slept in a cave, he dreamed that he saw his own body sleeping. He came out of the cave on the night of a new moon. The sky was clear and he could see millions of stars. Then something happened inside of him that transformed his life forever. He looked at his hands, he felt his body. He heard his own voice say, I am made of light, I am made of stars. He looked at the stars again, and he realized that it's not the stars that create light, but rather light that creates the stars. Everything is made of light, he said, and the space in between isn't empty. And he knew that everything that exists is one living being, and that light is a messenger of the life, because it is alive and it contains all information. Then he realized that although he was made of stars, he was not those stars. I am in between the stars, he thought. So he called the stars the tonal and the light between the stars, Nagual. And he knew that what created the harmony and space between the two is life or intent. Without life, the tonal and the nagua could not exist. Life is the force of the absolute, the supreme, the creator who creates everything. This is what he discovered. Everything in existence is a manifestation of the one living being we call God. Everything is God. And he came to the conclusion that human perception is merely a light perceiving light. He also saw the matter, that matter is a mirror. Everything is a mirror that reflects light and creates images of that light. And the world of illusion, the dream, is just like smoke which doesn't allow us to see what is really there, what we really are. 
The real us is pure love, pure light, he said. This realization changed his life. Once he knew what he really was, he looked around at other humans and the rest of nature and he was amazed at what he saw. He saw himself in everything, in every human, in every animal, in every tree, in the water, in the rain, in the clouds, in the earth. And he saw that life mixed the tonal and the nagual in different ways to create billions of manifestations of life. In those few moments, he comprehended everything. He was very excited and his heart was filled with peace. He could hardly wait to tell his people what he had discovered, but there was no words to explain it. He tried to tell the others, but they could not understand. They could not see that he had changed. They, they could see that he had changed, that something beautiful was radiating from his eyes and from his voice. They noticed that he no longer had judgment about anything or anyone. He was no longer like anyone else. He could understand everyone very well, but no one could understand him. They believed that he was an incarnation of God, and he smiled when he heard this and said, It's true, I am God, but you are also God. We are the same, you and I. We are images of light. We are God. But still the people didn't understand him. He had discovered that he was a mirror for the rest of the people, a mirror in which he could see himself. Everyone is a mirror, he said. He saw himself in everyone, but nobody saw him as themselves. And he realized that everyone was dreaming, but without awareness, without knowing what they really are. They couldn't see him as themselves because there was a wall of fog or smoke between the mirrors. And that wall of fog was made by the interpretation of images of light, the dream of humans. Then he knew that he would soon forget all that he had learned. He wanted to remember all the vision he had. So he decided to call himself the smoky mirror so that he would always know that matter is a mirror and the smoke in between is what keeps us from knowing what we are. He said, I am the smoky mirror because I am looking at myself in all of you, but we don't recognize each other because of the smoke in between us. That smoke is the dream and the mirror is you, the dreamer. All right. So that's enough for today. I hope you did enjoy and you have now a little bit to reflect about and to enjoy, I mean, the music. <laughs> okay. So, sweeties. A lot of love and light to you. And see and hear you soon again. Thank you so much for everything, for being. <laughs>